Man, oh man, this is absolutely insane. I am still trying to believe that this is something that actually happened, but if this doesn't show you that Democrats and Hollywood are in bed together, then I don't know what will. And this is extremely sus, guys, all right? This is wild stuff. I can't even believe that this is something that happened. But today, we have this crazy video, a bunch of crazy videos that we're going to be reacting to because this whole thing just turned into a huge dramatic situation where Robert De Niro was screaming at Trump supporters and Trump supporters were uh, screaming back at him this whole thing was wild, okay? Basically, what happened was Robert De Niro got summoned to the front of the courthouse where Orange Man Bad is having the closing of his trial. This is wild stuff, all right? So the Biden campaign is holding a press conference with special guests outside the courthouse where Trump is in trial. The guests include Robert De Niro wearing an N95 mask and Capitol Police Officer Michael Fanone. So you can't make this up, and really, you can't. So let's check out some of these videos here. Let's give it to them. If if you can't discuss the law, how in the mm -hmm. world can you give a closing argument? Mm -hmm. It is dumbfounding. So, Trey, stand by one moment. Yeah, the uh, group of folks walking toward the microphones there. So you can see there's uh, there's Robert De Niro there, and he's going to give a fiery speech, guys. Are you guys excited for that? Because we do have the video clips of that. This whole thing turned into a completely dramatic, insane situation where Robert De Niro was tr uh, screaming at, at Trump supporters, and Trump supporters were screaming at Robert De Niro. It's really crazy, and this, this thing, Donald Trump has created this. He should be telling them not to do this, but he's just protesting outside of a courthouse because they can tell that this whole thing is complete BS. Is that what you're saying, Robert De Niro? They should they should be silent. They should be listening and doing exactly what we want them to do. They should be good little sheeple. And when they're not, then we are very upset by that. Robert De Niro is just a ridiculous man. Is pretty accommodating. We make room for clowns. The most funny thing about this is that Robert De Niro does not realize that he is the clown here. That's the funniest thing about this entire thing. We have them all over the city. People who do crazy things in the street, we tolerate it. It's part of the city, it's part of the culture. But not a person like Trump who will eventually run the country. That does not work, and we all know that. Anyway, we make room for clowns to each his own. But no one takes him or took him really seriously. They take him seriously now, of course. So I guess Robert De Niro, I mean, this shows you, like, he is just completely exposing how much Hollywood truly hates half the country, all right? Because, let's, let's just be honest, half the country, they support Orange Man Bad, the guy that you want to continue to make the villain out of. Are, is half the country full of clowns? Hollywood probably thinks so. And then this whole thing just went even more insane, okay? So he, he was giving his whole speech, right? Like Robert De Niro was talking about how he feels comfortable here. This is my home. And all these people that are supporting Trump are clowns, guys. They're the worst. They should all be sent away to the gulag. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then everything just took a turn into complete craziness as uh, some of the Trump supporters started to uh, just started to stand up against him a little bit here, okay? So, let's go ahead and check out this video here. You! You're a you! You're a you touch you, you touch the you, you loser! You, you suck my Watch out, watch your back. We're, in a gen we're trying to be gentlemen in this world, the You're Democrats. Right. You are gangsters. Excuse me. You are gangsters. You're washed up. Oh, you know what? You can continue to have the veneer that you guys are are the peacemakers and you guys are the nice guys and you guys are the gentlemen. We all know the truth. All right? We all know that you guys are completely corrupt. You know, you can have you can have people that look super great on the outside and speak super eloquently and are really nice-looking people and all that stuff and they can be some of the darkest, most vile people on the inside. We all know this and it has been completely exposed with Hollywood celebrities. You're a nobody. You're and it's funny that, you know, it's okay for protesting to be a thing when it's against Trump or it's against Republicans or anything like that. Then suddenly it is super stunning and brave and it doesn't matter if they're burning things down and all that type of stuff none of that matters they're they're being stunning and brave guys all right they are being they are being truly patriotic but when you have people out here who are protesting about this complete bs trial 
then suddenly it is a major, major problem. Hilarious how that works, isn't it? It's crazy that they brought Robert De Niro to the front of the courthouse to give a speech about how bad, uh, you know, President 45 is and how terrible all the supporters are and all of that type of stuff, but... You know, none of this is really that much of a surprise, to be completely honest. This is the state of Hollywood. This is the state of our country, unfortunately, and it's absolutely insane. So let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.